So we noticed not too long ago in our 2006 Honda Pilot that whenever you push the key fob to unlock or lock the doors, um, it was doing fine locking all the doors except for the driver's door we found out. At first we thought maybe it was the battery and the key fob, but we had just replaced this thing not long ago. So this is the door lock actuator on the door. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that today. Mike broke on your camera, huh? Yeah, that means he's gonna have to voice over. Well, that's not a big deal. You'd be surprised how easy it is to voice over already filmed footage. Okay, so right here is where the door lock actuator is located inside the door. Not having the best of times. Should we count that as a stroke, I wonder? So first thing, just so we're not killing the battery, is we're just gonna remove the door light and you're just gonna pop off the cover with a flat blade screwdriver and then the light just pulls straight out careful it might burn your fingers and this is just the kind of bulb that pulls straight out and does not uh, twist in next we're just going to remove this little plastic cover that goes inside the mirror area and if you've got one of these kind of tools it's super handy um, if not a flat blade screwdriver should do crap pop First, we just pried off this little triangular piece by the mirror just with a flat blade screwdriver. Okay, next um, we're going to pull the whole panel off. This thing is just um, snapped in, but there's several screws that are holding it on. One is right there behind the door latch. There's two screws there right here behind this little plate. There's one there pretty deep, so you're going to want a long screwdriver to get in there. And then after you take off the button panel, there's one more screw. So. To get this piece off, you're just going to use a small screwdriver and just pry, okay, and just unscrew both those screws there. And just to keep track of everything, I'm just going to set them all right down here in the floorboard all together. After you get those out, this piece here should just pop right out. There's two things holding it that are going to make it a little hard to get out. One is the button panel for the door lock, and the other is the actual latch rod. Takes a little finagling, but eventually you'll be able to get it out. Next, you'll just want to unclip the rod that the latch is attached to, and you just do that by first pushing the plastic piece off of the rod and when that slides around you'll just be able to push the whole latch downward and have it come off of the sort of an L-shaped rod. It does help a little bit to maybe push up with a screwdriver like that and then it just slips out of that hole. Now all that's really holding it on is this button panel and there's just these two screws right here. Just pull those out and then just tuck the buttons out of your way there. And then I just go ahead and kind of wind the screws back into where they came from so I don't forget where those little guys went. Okay. Oakley doakley. Now we're just going to pop off the button panel for the window controls. And that does just pry off. And you'll just want to lift from the back and slide to your left. Okay, and there are just three wire harnesses to unplug. Just push the button in and slide them out like that. All three of them have a button in a different place. So the brown one's on the side here. Then the white one is on the back inside there. And then right here is a Phillips head screw. Just pull that out. I just went and got my longest screwdriver so I could reach up in there and get it. Pull that screw out. Okay, at this point, we're just going to pry off this entire piece. Now that the screws are out, it should come off pretty easily. Okay, and then as you slide up, you just got to make sure and slide the whole door over the lock right there. And okay, there's one more harness that we got to unbuckle before we can put the whole thing down. You just push a button right there and pull. There, now we can set the whole door down over here, out of our way. Okay, now this next part, to get in here, we're going to have to pull away this weather seal. Um, and this stuff is, is kind of tarred on with this, like, kind of a glue. You can just peel it all off like this. It feels like you're destroying it, but don't worry about that, because you can buy tubes of this stuff to put it back on later. Or what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a heat gun and just melt it, and that's enough to get it tacky again to stick. But I'll show you that when we just pull this back enough to where we can get 
in to this section right here. All right, next we need to take out these three screws right here. Let me tell you, I don't think I have ever faced any screws that were as tight as these were. And I got a tip from someone to heat it up. So I brought out my heat gun and I held it on there for probably at least 30 seconds to a minute on each screw. And then after I did that, they came right out. Yeah. Next over here on this side, we just want to pull this one out. And then this bolt right here, this is a 10 millimeter. Now these are the two connectors right here that connect the door lock actuator. So we're gonna unplug those. There's a tab on the back. You just push the button and pull. Okay, next we're gonna have to get that blue retainer off of this bar. That's the, the door latch bar that we took off in the beginning. And it's the same idea here. You just gotta pop it off the rod and then slide the rod out. So then if you just push it straight back, it pops right out of there. And then if, just don't forget where you took it from, just pop it out of that here so it's out of your way. I'm gonna lay it down in the same orientation that it was in. So I don't Okay, and then if you look on the back part of all of this stuff, there's a rod that goes up. And that's the door handle, the outside door handle. Do the same thing, pop that off. Getting that bar out of that hole is really hard because it's, you see the end of it. And so what I ended up doing to get it out of that hole right there, when you pull on it, all that plastic wants to bend towards you and it's really scary that you're gonna break it. So the way I finally popped it out of there was to be able to get my hand in there and push that one way as I pulled this the other. And it's pretty hard, but finally popped it out. All right, and right here was, I was unplugging the other electrical connector. I am actually put a screwdriver there and broke a little piece there. Don't do that. Just the button, it's actually, I didn't know this, but it's on the other side towards the inside of the door. You squeeze that, you gotta wiggle it quite a bit, but you can get it out. Okay, so the very last rod to get off is really tricky. I mean, I can't even get my camera in there to show you, but it's this. When you go in there, it's the furthest back one that goes high end all of this up there. And it's the, what it is, the key lock rod. So when you put the key in the door, this pulls down and see how it almost like an S curve at the very end. So here's our, all the apparatus that we just took out. Such an instrument is the turbo and cabulate. And that last piece, I just turned this. So this part is all facing inside the door right here. And that rod hooks in this loop right there. So it's even gonna be super tricky to get back in because it has to go up and then curve, go up on that rod. This is the actuator. That's the part that we're gonna replace. You're gonna wanna get this metal piece off first. I think this is the most simple way to do this. <laughs> Look at that. That piece is going to have to be right there. So apparently they thought it was a good idea to just tab this in. And apparently I've never been on live television before. I'll never understand that. It's so easy to break things that are tabbed in. There's one on this side. Barely, barely get it started. All right. Set it over here in the same orientation that you got it off. There's the old and the new compared together. New one's a little more matte, otherwise identical. Just gonna slide it in there the way we came out. I can feel it's not quite sliding down there, and that's because the shaft right there needs to match up with that hole. So it depends on where you're, where this lever pulled the hole there. So I just pulled this right there, pulled that lever until it matched up and then the whole thing clicked right down. And now we can put this metal plate back on. Okay, so when you took off the metal plate, this may have fallen out. Just um, make sure that little nose is behind that little flap. Put this back over, pop it over that little plastic. So now it's advised to plug this, plug these back in and try the lock. So you try it before you get everything back together. Yep, saw it right there. I don't know so that little rod hanging down, which is goes to the key lock, you need to S-curve it into that hole right there. Okay, so I'm just, uh, with it unplugged, I got the whole apparatus in here. And then I've got the rod started on there. So then as I twist, to the right position that it's where I want it to be. It's probably going to be handy to know how this piece comes off. A guide for the lock button. And so it fits just on the back side of all this. It just goes up, lock button goes. And then that just lays down in there and then it pops in right there. So if we can get that out of the way, it might help us let the 
these rods fall in weird ways so that we can get it up in there. All right, this is kind of crazy, but with that plastic piece off, I can then take the, the rod that goes up to the door lock and I can aim it through this hole first, get that one out there too to get it out of your way and so that it's up. Then we can take that SE curved one right here. And then when you get it started in that hole right there, then as we twist this to the right position, it's gonna S curve it in there. <laughs> so when I twist it in, see this? pointer finger is right there, that face of that is going to end up right there to get those screws in. So if you twist it that way, kind of got to hold all these rods the right way. Okay, so if we go in reverse order, then back to this rod, slip it back in there, come out and then remember to slide this back over. Okay, so now plastic guide or whatever, let's just pop that back on. So just get that part right there, go behind the blue door latch, inner door latch rod in. That's the one that's gonna click in to that blue clip. Into that, like that. Then bring the clip over. And this might be a good place to go ahead and plug the actuator back in. This window track that only bolts in on the inside right there. And it just is this loose piece that just actually first set this one right here. Do these three. Okay, so when you put this thing back in, it's just one bolt right there, and it feels pretty arbitrary as to like which way this way it goes. And I can't really find any information on how to make sure that's in the right spot. So I just pushed it as far back that way as I can. Before you put all the trim back on, when you're still inside there, make sure this door latch rod is in front of the weather stripping because you won't be able to get it through right there. Okay, so I think we're ready to put the door back on. First thing we're gonna wanna do is get this weather stripping back up. Just takes a little bit of, a little bit of heat from the heat gun. Remember, first thing to click back in is this connector right here. Feed your wires through. Okay, the hardest part is gonna be getting that lock button to slide through panel while you hold all this. Once we get this on, we're gonna be ready with the long screw. It goes in here. There, pull all these through. And then we'll start pushing in that one first. Right here. And we'll just do this one right here. Long one right here. Now let's plug this back in. Three plugs. One, two, three. And then remember this kind of slides down in that way and then down, just clicks down like that. Now for this, go ahead and screw the button back on. So now the lock button screwed back on. Now we just need to get that rod back in this hole and then clipped on. Now we just need the work button into the hole. It's kind of a tight fit. I'm not gonna say that was easy. These two little black screws just go there and there. And once you get those in, just put this little plate, just pushes in. So put that in. Okay, last little part, we're just gonna pop this back on pretty easily. And then door that back in. All right, moment of truth here. Lock, unlock, boom. Yeah, save money, learn stuff, do it yourself. Uh-oh, you guys. Ralphie's lost his mind again. Huh? What's going on here? What is he saying? I'll tell you what he's saying. He's saying a bunch of gibberish. You can't understand what he's saying. It's because he's making it all up.
Oh, now we're all doing it. Pine Squirrel DIY.